Phones versus Tablets. This is Nicole Scott, Nicole Blocks from AppBookNews.com, and she uses her new Samsung Galaxy Nexus smartphone, which is one Android ice cream sandwich. With a 4.65 inch display and a resolution of 720p, it offers enough screen real estate to run her favorite app, which is TweetDeck, because she constantly stays in contact with her friends and is looking for the latest tech news. Meet Sasha Pallenberg. He blogs on Netbook News DE. He's got a Samsung Galaxy Tab 7.7. It's running on a 1.4 GHz dual core processor and has a Super AMOLED display. You can see the news widgets with update real time on the home screen. Sasha uses those to keep in touch with everything that's going on on the web. He also loves a music application which has a cool interface and lets him access his entire music collection while he's on the go. Oh, hey, it's you. Hi. I see you got the 7.7. .7. I did. Tab. And that's your new Galaxy yeah, Nexus, yeah, right? Yeah, I got the We've new been Nexus. About this. Finally, left Windows phone back on Android. Well, congrats. How do you like it? Love it. I love it. I, I love I love the form factor. It might be a little too big. I'm still getting used to it. It's so huge. Far, it's almost a tablet. Oh, well, it's not actually quite a tablet. Yours is a lot bigger than mine. Oh, come on. Them, not yeah. much, right? If you uh, just compare it. But you know what, I still think um, I'm fine with my tablet and I would prefer it over a smartphone. You think so? I definitely think so. And I think you can do way more things with this tablet than with your phone. I don't know, but this is pretty big. Like It's almost like a tablet, but it fits in your pocket. Either. No, it's not. It's not? I don't and I tell you what, that's a better device and it will be superior over your smartphone. Uh, I don't know. Want to put your money where your mouth is? <laughs> <laughs> I definitely would do that. Shall we find out? Let's find out. First test is pocketability. How well does Sasha's 7.7 .7 Galaxy Tab fit into all of his pockets? Looks like he's found a home for it there. What about the back pocket? Mm, that doesn't look like it's going to work out. Lucky for Sasha, when he slides it in his front pocket, you hardly even notice it's there. Well, Nicole has quite some more options. Let's try the front pocket of her jacket. There you go. Breast pocket, no problem at all. Let's open the jacket and let's try the front pocket of her jeans. Perfect. And her favorite place, well, she's a girl. Fits. Hey Nicole, it's me. Hey Sasha, what's up? I'm calling you from the new Galaxy Tab. How is it comfortable on your face there? It looks a little bit like a windshield, <laughs> but it works. Feels like a windshield. <laughs> hey, you know what? I wanted to ask you if you're up for a bubble tea, or maybe we can even go to the ice skating at the Taipei Arena. Wait, don't sound good, but as long as you promise not to actually have the Galaxy Tab on your face like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do it then. Yeah. Somewhere along the way, we stopped by one of these traditional Chinese temples to take a couple pictures. We wanted to see exactly how the smartphone and the tablet stacked up against each other, size-wise, while taking photos. Lunchtime at most burgers. As you can tell by just looking at us, we are addicted to Japanese fast food. And while we are getting stuffed with all these unhealthy calories, we love to stay up to date with the latest tech news. Because of its stand, I can use both hands to shovel the food into me, while Nicole has to conquer her burger single-handed and she needs to stress out her eyes with a small display. Around 200 grams heavier is time for the ultimate usability test and therefore we're testing our skills on the slippery surface of the Iceland in the Taipei Arena. Oh god Jesus, I tell you one thing, holding a tablet and doing ice skating was pretty much the worst idea I've ever had and reading my emails right now, but it works! watching an instructional video on how to ice skate. Much easier than Sasha. If you're going to do sports on your phone, it's totally a smartphone. So let's take a look at uh, the recordings that we did. So I recorded you. And I recorded you. Are we, are we 
counting skill on the ice is one of the impressive factors of the tablet or smartphone. <laughs> <laughs> but look at this with the high resolution, uh, with this gorgeous Super AMOLED display here. That's way better. And it's easier to watch, right? Not so easier to ice skate with, though. <laughs> <laughs> Now let's check the treeability of our devices. Let's see how many things we can actually carry around on them. So I can definitely do one. Ah, that sucks. That sucks? How many can you do? Let me give it a shot. So oh that's dear. One. <laughs> that's two. This is like multiple uses for your for your devices. So you can fit three. I can easily do three, and I'm pretty sure actually I could even do four. If but we anyways, had a fourth drink, yeah. <laughs> that, that, the trayability is fantastic of the Samsung Galaxy Tab. And well, you know, you on this. I'm willing to lose a little bit because I don't think I want to use my device as a tray. But I guess if you need to, the tablet's the way to go on that. So that's been our big usability test of smartphone versus tablets. What do you guys think? Who do you think won? Tablets. Smartphones. Tablets, yes. No, no, no. Forget smartphones. No, no, no. Tablets. No, tablets. it's totally smartphone. Click on the, tablet. Click on the smartphone. Me. Click you on the know smartphone. That it's the better device. No, that's no. The more, that's the better. No. One. You want to see the victory? Go to the smartphone. It's going to be right here. Click here. I have an amazing video behind the link of the tablet. Oh, mine's even so better. 